My father was a barber and tailor, and in his barber shop he had instruments, a man and a guitar, and he would play with the customers during the day sometime, and uh, I got used to hearing the sound of mandolin, and uh, I picked it up someday, I suppose, and I learned to play it by ear for quite a while until I was 15, and I started learning by music. Most of my work that I, I've uh, composed has been since about 1959. And of course, uh, after that, I met, uh, luckily I met Grisman, who was responsible for my album. When we, my brother and I first came in and bought the store out, it was a lending library. Eventually I got into using the place for sundry things like uh, cards and uh, jokes and uh, toys and, and even wine and beer. Business here now has dropped off to almost nothing. Probably average ten dollars a day, and that's not profit. Ten dollars a day, that's gross. Ten dollars gross a day. There won't be anyone coming in it for hours. <laughs> and the frustrating thing about it is that I have to watch people that come in here and make sure they don't steal from me. In the meanwhile, I've been using this place uh, recently for meeting my friends and having rehearsals of my music. No, no. Is Fabio there? Oh, hello, Fabio. Uh, about my playing down there tomorrow, it, it's quite all right for me to come. I'll see you. I'll see you in the morning, about 12 o'clock, possibly. I try to be there earlier, but maybe 12:30, maybe better, because the traffic is always so so difficult. So, is that all right with you? Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye now. About 1931, uh, the group I had from Portland, Oregon, the trio, uh, sort of broke up. One of the members, the guitar player, left to go back home, and uh, we had to hire someone else, and we had made the acquaintance of a Spanish guitar player, and uh, we had had one program, <clears throat> and they had, uh, the producer had been very careful and very <clears throat> ambitious, I guess, and told a story around our different pieces we played. And uh, at the end of the program, which was a, a Spanish uh, piece of music, why uh, we were supposed to shout out Ole, which is sort of a, a hurrah in the same sense as uh, Spanish. Anyway, uh, we said Ole, and then this man, Ray, he shot out Whoopi. And that ended our career for the time being. Now the mood changes as the trio plays for the Assembly of Visitors, music characteristic of Spain's dramatic history, Moorish Serenade. <laughs> When I was 19 years of age, I had a talk with my father about the possibility of my marrying eventually. But I told him that uh, I wasn't ready to get married probably for a long while because I, I thought that I should have a home and a good job before I married. And uh, so when I fell in love with one woman, uh, she turned me down because I wasn't making enough money. And of course it's true, but then uh, 
Uh, she eventually married and divorced and became my lover, but she also became a drunk, and uh, she eventually married a drunk, and uh, uh, I couldn't put up with that, but even so, I never left her, she left me and married a drunk. Anyway, then I had another one, and she felt the same way. I proposed her and bought even a wedding ring, rather it was a, an engagement ring, and she turned me down, and uh, we never got along. There was always something wrong with her. We, our love affairs were fine, but uh, the, the regular routine didn't seem to uh, uh, really be normal. And uh, so, uh, uh, however, later on in about 1960, when I was about 60 years old, I, I thought we would get married, but I, uh, I had a job working as a musician, and uh, she said that, that uh, she knew that uh, my music was my first love. Of course it was, possibly, but uh, I didn't like the idea of her saying so, so I told her that we'd better not get married because we'd only would be unhappy. But I have missed having a family, but uh, on the other hand, if I had had a family, I'd been very conscientious and probably worked myself to death. As it is, I got interested in music, and uh, I... Uh, Never had the music talk back like my children would have talked back to me, and so I guess maybe I'll live longer this way. It's very seldom that I actually think about my age. I, I keep working uh, pretty constantly. I'm not as energetic as I was at one time. I, I go to bed earlier than I used to. I used to work till 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. But I haven't done that lately, unless I really got a deadline. My eyes are so bad that uh, uh, glasses can't be made to help me that much. At night, especially, I have to have people lead me around, especially around stairways. But I, I, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm only reporting, I'm not complaining. I'm grateful for being able to see it all. At my age of 86, why, uh, um, I feel I'm lucky to be alive. San Francisco. This is the National Broadcasting Company. I've had a number of incidents happen in my life that have been uh, both uh, sad and happy. Uh, uh, the sad part, I, I try to forget. In the happy moments, they curse me ever so often, and uh, I regret that I can't live them over, but uh, I, I'm hoping for new events to happen that uh, will give me uh, 
happiness and uh, joy. And uh, I always make new friends, so I'm always looking at the bright side of things. But uh, age hasn't really uh, prevented me from going ahead and doing the things I have wanted to do. Of course, I haven't been able to play tennis or ride a bicycle, although I think maybe one day I will go, go ride a bicycle again. But uh, it's my point of view on, on death and old age is quite philosophical, and sometimes I think, why not be immortal? You're all dressed up. What's up? I'm going to North Beach to play there, Trieste Cafe. Do you want to ride? Well, thank you very much, but I have a limo coming oh. to pick me up. Unfortunately, that's what I've been ordered. Uh, they are demolishing the building from here down the corner. It's about half a block. Uh, I, I've been here from the first time that they gave me a notice. It's two years ago. And I've been here paying no rent, and I won't be paying any rent until my settlement. Uh, the, actually, it may be July 1st, it may be later, depending on when I sign the, the papers. I'm supposed to have four months after I sign the papers. I believe I will be signing them any day now. And uh, there's a settlement, a fairly good settlement. It's not what I wanted, but it will have to do.
be hard. It's going to be a little difficult to not uh, be uh, rather unhappy about uh, having to move. After being here 40 years, I, I made uh, some beautiful friends. Uh, some friends not so good, but most of them uh, have been good friends. And, uh, and I haven't done too well as far as business goes, but uh, the idea was not from the very beginning when my brother and I teamed up it was a place to live more than a place to, for business. But anyway, uh, uh, it's, been a, it's been a place where it's been my home and I've met my friends and uh, here from day to day and also made new ones, which has been a rather pleasant thing. And uh, I'm going to miss that an awful lot. I, uh, I wish that, that uh, I could stay here the rest of my life, but uh, Ebony money talks these days. I'm not, I'm not regretting a thing. I just wish things had been different. 